hey, this is Ryan, the hickory nut guy. I was just sitting here eating some hickory nuts. And uh, at this point, it looks like more shells than nuts, huh? Uh, and I thought it was a good opportunity to share with you some things I've learned over all the years. So right there it is, right? This is the holy grail of hickory nuts. That's it right there. I'm trying to get it to focus. Well, that's the perfect half of a hickory nut. Oh yeah. That's why I do it. For that divine taste. All right, so hickory nuts, the reason you don't buy them in the store, one of the reasons is because they're very hard to get out of their shells. Well, not very hard, but pretty hard. Um, tedious, maybe that's the word. Well, what you need is one of these. This is called the Texan York Nut Hauler. And it looks a little something like a Rammstein album cover, but I promise you this is the best way to get those little delicious nuts outside of those shells. All right, so basically what you do is you use these like scissors and you cut off the ends and the sides. I'm gonna show you. Come with me. All right, this is uh, my first time to ever crack hickory nuts through a screen, so bear with me. All right, so right there's the Texan York nut hauler. I should say a few things about this before we get going. First thing, it is actually a pretty serious implement. I was cracking jokes about it being a torture device earlier, but um, it could really, could hurt you. So be careful, obviously, while you're using it. Uh, maybe not for people who are not uh, sure or secure of what they're doing. Definitely not for children. And um, it takes a little bit of pressure because you're cutting the ends off of these nuts. So if... Uh, if you're arthritic or you don't have really strong hands, it, it might not be the best tool for you. Uh, speaking of tools, you may need a set of the old school crackers. Sometimes if you biff it up while you're working on this, you need the uh, crackers to break a piece. And uh, you're definitely gonna need a pick. It's just the way it is. 95% uh, of the time you're gonna need a pick to pry those pieces out of the shells. I'll show you that when we get there. Oh. All right, so uh, basically, um, and you can see these are kind of uh, curved here. So they get closer on the ends and uh, wider in the middle. The way hickory nuts are, the size they are on average, you're gonna be working in here on these ends. So uh, usually on to start, uh, to cut the, usually to cut these ends off, I work on the inner part. And then when we get to the sides, I use this outer, the outer part here. All right, so basically uh, stick it in there and, and start cutting. Sometimes it takes a few. Um, some, sh not all nuts are created equal. Sometimes they, they take a lot, they're harder to cut. All right, so you can see I cut the end off of there. Um, it's starting to expose the nut. Now you can you'll start to see that it actually looks like two brains stacked on top of each other. Um, so these are kind of like the tips of the brains. All right, so cut this off. All right, so there you go. The goal here is obviously to cut the shell off without harming the nut. And so you kind of stick to the end and you get a feel for it where you stick to the end and you start cutting and it'll pop off. Sometimes you need to cut a few times and make like kind of score it almost. Um, but that one came off pretty easily. So then you want to cut the sides off of this thing. A lot of times what I'll do is um, trim these corners off. So I'll use this outer part here and just get in there and pop it off. Um, 
Really, anything you do that gets material off the shells off without hurting the nut is all right. You're almost always going to scar some of that nut. It's just the way it is. Uh, now, I'll cut a side off and show you. Uh, it should just, if you do it right, it should just pry right off. And you can see in between uh, these two nuts, halves, there's a, a line that goes right down of the shell. And then there's kind of this... Uh, when you cut it, it's almost going to look like a tea or a mushroom. You want to cut, it's hard to explain, let me see. So you kind of want to put the tip in there and cut the side off like this. And then grab it and pull that middle part out. So I'm going to have to cut some more. And now see, see the middle part just comes right out of there. And if you did it right, whoa. If you did it right at this point, you should be able to just break your hickory nut in half. Or close to half. I mean, that's good enough for me, right? Good enough for you. So, sometimes you get this, uh... There's a shell. Sometimes you'll get, uh... Like a film here. Like it's that middle piece. You can just... Usually you can just break it off with your hand. Sometimes you might need to get either the cracker or actually get your hauler back out and cut some pieces. Or even a lot of times I just get the pick in there and just pop a piece off. But at this point, if, if, the, if the nut, this one's going to come right out. But sometimes the nuts don't come out. You just got to get your pick. Get in there. There it is. You're not going to see it long because it's going right in my mouth. Oh, yeah. I love them. All right, man. I think you got enough to go on. So, I definitely, I'm not even making money off of this video because I should be. Get yourself a Texan nut haul, York nut hauler. One other thing I wanted to show you. This is not the best nut to show you as an example, but it's the one I have. So let's pretend like this nut is really hard to break in half. Like I think this one I could do, well yeah, I can break it half with my hand, but let's, let's pretend I can't. Sometimes they get stuck. You just take your nut hauler, you put it in between the two halves like this. You can just, usually you can just cut it right in half. Um, so just a little trick I've learned in our quest to get the hickory nut half. Oh, it's going to be delicious. Yep. Most delicious video I've ever made. Uh, okay. I wanted to show you something. This is not the best nut to show you because, uh, you can see it's already breaking. But sometimes they're stuck together and you can't actually break them in half with your hands. A little trick I want to show you. You take this nut hauler and you put it in between like this. You put it down between the, the uh, halves and you cut it. And sometimes that's the best way. You just cut the nut right in half. And uh, with any luck you're going to get these little brains. I guess calling a hickory not a brain is probably not the best way to sell it. Oh, it's so good. All right, so. This is the Texan York nut holder. Say a few things about this. Um, first things first, this is a pretty serious tool. Uh, wouldn't let children use it. Make sure... You're going to have to have pretty strong hands cut some of these nuts. Sometimes they're pretty hard. So if you're, if, you, if you're arthritic or have weak hands, this is probably not the tool for you. Um, so you're going to need some shag bark hickories. This thing, you're not going to be able to work uh, the sweet pig nuts or shell barks with this or black walnuts. For those nuts, you're going to need black walnut crackers. There, um, now shag bark you can do with the Texan York nut hauler. So these are some shag barks. 
Like I said, there's more shells and nuts at this point. All right, so basically, and you can see this this blade here has curves in it, and it's more narrow on the inside and outside here. The way the shagbark hickory is, uh, the side, the average size of these nuts, you're going to be sticking mainly to this, those the outer parts. Now, usually this I cut because this is stronger in here. You get more the right kind of leverage and force. I usually cut, so the idea is you want to cut the ends off of these and then cut the sides off. So I use the inside here to cut the ends off. Sometimes you got to cut a few times like you're scoring it almost. And turn it around in your hands and make a line. This is a good example. You can see this nut is going to put up a fight. It's almost like cutting a cap off. See? Alright, so you're, you're starting to see little the nut poking through. You can tr trim this a little more. I know it's not helpful going out of focus. All right, so work on the other end. This is my first time ever cracking hickory nuts through a screen. So uh, bear with me. I'm trying to keep it in focus. All right, so now when I move on, we're going to cut these. You got to think about think about uh, usually usually these are wider than they are um, tall. So across the width of it is where you're going to break it in half. And this is like a one brain, and this is like a brain down here. So the idea is to cut these ends off like this. And then we're going to actually going to cut these sides off down the side. You can see this this line that runs through the middle of these two halves. We're going to we're going to sort of pinch the side and pull it off. And if you do that on both sides, then you should be able to just break this in half. Let's do it. So just kind of um sort of put it on the side like that and pinch and usually, if you're lucky, it'll take one or two cuts. Sometimes you got to just sort of work the whole side like this. And then, yeah, then you should be able to just pinch it. Mm, it's going to prove me wrong. Oh, it's twice I dropped this nut. Well, usually I don't drop a nut. I, I biffed that one up pretty bad, but that's okay. It's enough that's still worth it. So then you just cut the other side. Sometimes you got to kind of hold it, even though one side will pop off like this. Uh, this is not the best example, but I'll still get there. So a lot of meat pieces of meat here. I'm not worried about that for this video, but sometimes usually I'll pick that out of there. So like, see, this is a good example. Sometimes they won't pop out, and you need to, this one will, but sometimes you need to get your pick in there and just pop pop it out like that, pry it out. I mean, that's still worth the time, I think. Oh, yes. So, uh, the other way to do it is to get your crackers like this, crack the nut, Get your pick, pick all the pieces out. Personally, this takes a little different kind of work, but I think the end result, first of all, these shells, if you chew on these shells, uh, they will break your teeth. Uh, so you gotta be careful. That's one reason I like this, because it, it removes all of the, sh the shells. You don't have to sift through pieces like these pieces to find the nut meat. It's just perfect. Let it go. Crush them up. Put them in your cupcakes. Oh man. There's that piece. I don't let any nuts go to waste, guys. That's protein. Omega 3s. <laughs> magnesium. Potassium. Iron. Freaking hickory nuts are the best, guys. Alright, this is what it's all about. 